And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven as aggro. Or maybe think of a Draven easy aggro. Um, this is a deck that we only we played it we tried it one other time and it didn't work so well. But yeah, you know, I really wanted to try it again and we we switched up the top end a little bit. But the the, the theory behind this deck is trying to fool the opponent. Okay, so they're gonna see our champions. We have three Dravens and one. Ezreal, which Ezreal is not really the best um, aggressive champion, and so we're not really focused on on Ezreal's, but we got one in here. It's still, you know, an elusive creature that can cr make some mystic shots for us. It's not like it's bad, but it's not something that I really want to focus on. But the reason why we have that is so that then whenever our opponents get paired against us, they see Draven, they see Ezreal, they think that they're playing against the, the Draven Ezreal control deck, which is a pretty popular deck. And then boom we uh fool them and we're playing all these aggro cards um still th these aggro burn decks are just not in like the best spot right now like there's like they're just not very powerful compared to the other stuff that people are doing there's a lot of good anti-aggro cards in the metagame right now and so it's kind of tough to pull it off so uh that's what kind of learned to play in the deck but it's still just pretty fun and, and you know maybe we'll catch opponents um on uh, catch the opponents like uh, off guard. That's our, our plan. Uh, one big change that we're making since the last time is we're playing all three augmented experimenter without with only basically having Dravens for our only champion, and we don't have like the power of like Jinx um, or Katarina or Teemo. Really, Jinx or Katarina. We don't have like these kind of late game cards to help. Uh, help us finish the games out i think that our deck really needs like the extra draw and so we're playing all three augmented experimenters um to get more card draw to f help us find more burn and help us um in the late games that was that was what i i only had one the other time that we played this and i think that's that's what it, um, our deck really needed more of them also am uh, adding in one vision in here to be able to discard for the spinning axe or for the get excited um, to be able to pump up some more, uh, some of these things. Um, Vision is like a, this is like a high risk card. There's there's times where it can do absolutely nothing, um, but there's other times where it can do a whole lot of damage and win you games. And so I, I want a high variance card like that and uh, the ability to, um, you know, if we high roll and get lucky, the Vision can win us some games. So we're gonna be playing one of those. All right, but that's our deck. So we're playing the trick deck. Let's go on over to the arena. And let's go. Hey, Ender, I'm not sure what you mean by what is your reload. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't understand that question. <clears throat> All right, so we're playing some Teemo over here. I'm gonna mulligan this one drop. Do I mulligan this thing? Let me mulligan that thing too. Yeah, we're climbing. That 5 0. Definitely helping us climb. So I'm expecting them to have a bunch of like little spiders and things like that, which is bad for aggro. But um, that's why I mulliganed that other one drop, because I thought that it would probably just trade with like a spiderling. It looks like we're getting more of them. Yeah, the, the Freljord fetch, fetch champion unit is really good. Um, it does cost 8 mana, though. You know, like, 8 mana card should be really good, but it, it is. I don't... I don't know if it's better than, like, Rekindler, for example. Kind of want to just play all these 1-drops. I guess I should probably play 2-drop and 1-drop. Or just play Draven. Oh, 
Okay, how do we replenish? Okay, yeah. So there's no there's no jinxes in here because you know we can't we can't play jinx. Um, yeah, no progress day. We have I have three of the augmented experimenter. That's that's the card that I'm reloading with. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's the card draw. That's the card advantage that I have. Yep. And that's the other time I played this deck, I, I had one of those, and uh, yeah, it wasn't enough card advantage. Yeah, this that's what these burn decks really do need. They really do need more card advantage for sure. Oh, hey Charles. Hope you're doing good. I think the reason why they didn't thermogenic beam Draven is be like their thinking is they have um, they'll have blockers for Draven. I think that's their thinking. I'm able to play three creatures pre-combat, which is why I wanted to do that, but maybe I don't. No, yeah, we're playing these pre-combat. Got three mana left. Wow, that's good. This trades with like one of these, they can have both of these block over here. Sure, boss. We have the spinning axes, have one of them kill them. They're taking nine damage. And I still have both of both of these things out here. This would be a great time to draw Augmented Experimenter. Talking about that card though. Yeah, sure, Charles. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'm having a good day. There it is. What a draw. That's why we're playing three. Get that reload in. Let's see if I can see what this deck what this deck is. Withering Whale. Everybody plays Withering Whale these days. It really makes it hard playing aggro. Okay, you're going with Katarina, Jinx, Darius. Alright. Cards left. So the two one blocks my three two. If I don't let them block, you know, we're doing more damage. I guess my play isn't very good against Glimpse Beyond, though.
a good draw. That's a good draw. Dang, stop gaining all this life. Making it tough to be aggro out here. These experimenters have been so clutch. Won't get past me. All right, GG's. They can block one of these. Still take lethal. So that was like Karina control, but with Teemo and not, you know, like, I guess it's supposed to like try to make you think that you're playing against an aggro deck, but like they ended up just being, you know, a whole lot like Karina control. We started yesterday in the 2500s, up to the 1400s. We're ranking up. Yeah, Augmented Experimenter is definitely the, definitely the MVP. Yeah, WQ saw the new region. Bilge Water looks sweet. Dude, yeah, I am excited about that new region. Hey, Mamba, doing good. Doing good. Hope you're having a good day also. Yeah, Bilgewater. Um, the the new mechanic looks really cool too. Uh, the plunder, dude. The plunder Poro, so cute. Thanks, Charles. Uh, let's see. All right, so Fiora Zed. Um, this card's good against Zed, I guess. We kind of need two mana cards to play. I guess we'd have the Mystic Shot. Alright, we can try this out. Um, I'm not sure if they're so OP. I don't really want to draw Ezreal. It's not really a card I want to draw. I guess Ezreal could block an elusive thing. There we go. Gives me something to do this turn. I like it. And I think I just go straight to attacks. And hit them for six before they play there. Because they're going to play, you know, whatever thing and have standalone. Because they always have standalone. Alright, so Zed. Um, would like to Mystic Shot that, but that's just not going to work. So maybe they play something first and I get to Salesman. Perfect. Perfect.
All right, attack with two, two, three, three, three. I always like having the lower attack things first, so that if their plan is a life gain thing, they don't get to block like my my biggest attacker and then also life gain barrier as well. well I mean that that has to be their plan is life gain barrier right now, and I have Mystic Shot to kill this thing. Still am dying because yeah they died all this stuff first. So yeah, when when you play against life steal barrier decks, so Ionia, definitely have your lower attackers out first. Alright, we'll do that. That should be lethal. Yep. Now they don't get to gain that life. And GG's, we are 2-0. and oh. Draven easy aggro. GG's. All right, now we're playing against Winter Karma. I like Winter Karma. It's a cool deck. Gonna... That's a deck I've been thinking about playing again, actually. When I played Winter Karma the last time, I used Brom Karma, but I wanted to try it with Ash Karma. So this is this kind of deck I was actually gonna be playing here. Like, I was actually thinking about playing that tomorrow. Um, anyway, let's see. We discard, 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 discard. Keep this. Um, get excited kills Ash and does kill Karma. So, I mean, I guess we can keep that. And then this is something to discard to get excited. But this is not me having a very good aggressive start. Let's just retry. Okay. Well, if I knew that my next three cards were one drop, one drop, three drop, I would have kept get excited. Um, I could have kept those two cards, the get excited vision, if I knew that this was going to be what we were going to have. But see, they have nothing here. Oh, oh, they had that. I was gonna say like, this could have been like, you know, the whole we have Draven Ezreal. They think that we have a slow deck, and then suddenly, boom, it's one drop, double one drop, and they're like, what's going on? No, we're so we're using Ezreal as a card that throws off the opponent. Uh, there's just one Ezreal in here. We're throwing off the opponent. They they make it. They think that this is like Draven Ezreal control, and then boom, we just drop all these one drops to their surprise. And they're like, "What just happened?" And I'm like, "I don't know. You did." So this puts them to four. I kind of want to spinning axe discard the house spider to make it three. I don't know if there's like a huge difference between three and four, though. But I'm I'm just probably not playing this house spider. Like this house spider probably doesn't do anything, and so if we can just cash it in for one life, I I think that's worth it. What are you I'm I'm talking, Draven. Relax, man. Yeah, that's Oh oh they're at zero? I thought they were going to 
I thought it said they were going to three. Oh well, they're at zero now. There we go, GG's. Yeah, so that's the plan, is have the opponent start mulligan, like they mulligan poorly, and then we come out out of the gate and punish them for it. That's... <laughs> that's what I'm trying here. It doesn't always work, but when it works, it's sweet. Teemo Wayfinder! Dude, hopefully this is Teemo Wayfinder. It's like my favorite deck. Um, nope, nope. <laughs> Just get him. No, I mean, House Spider is still, still attacks well. It's still three power, it's still three power for two mana spread across two bodies, so it's good against removal. Um, and it's, you know, still difficult to to block effectively because it's two bodies. It's just a really solid card. Doesn't really matter, you know, offensively or defensively. It's a solid card. Um, you know, it makes a card like Transfusion better. Having like the multiple bodies that you know you get to to do whatever with. You know, we have like the vision that rewards us for going wide. No, Timo. No, no. I played Timo Wayfinder with Karma. Uh, I don't have Pickpocket, so it's not. It's definitely not Wayfinder because they have Pickpocket. So this is definitely a different deck. This isn't my version of Timo Wayfinder. So do I want to play the Grenadier pre-combat, or just go straight to attacks? Won't get past me. All right, I think my plan is Legion Rear Guard with. Whirling Death. The order rewards its faithful. Just gonna put this here. You hoping they'll die of boredom? It's too late. I do want Draven to level up. I do want a kind of spinning axe and then whirling death. I do kind of want to do that. But I don't really want to discard any of these cards. I guess it would be Transfusion as the card to discard, I guess. Mind, I don't mind discarding the get excited because I don't really have other. I guess we're we're, gonna, we're about to give give more spinning axes. We'll have more things to discard for get excited, right? So I basically got rid of the transfusion to do one damage to the opponent and level up Draven. We'll see if that's worth it or not. Transfusion could be used to save something through a removal spell. It's possible that won't be worth it. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. 
Um, I do like how we drew another Draven, though. So if they do kill this Draven, then we'll have another one. No, I no, I haven't. Like, I played Hearthstone for just a little bit whenever it first came out. You know, I don't, you know, how many years ago that was? Seven, eight years ago, or whatever. But just just a little bit at the time. Um, played a lot of Magic: The Gathering. That's that's where my background in card gaming is. Okay, and we have the backup. Back, back up, Doctor Avon. Come on, Doctor Avon. You got this. Okay. Yeah, during search for Ascanta shenanigans. That's such a good card, search for Ascanta. I still think that's like one of the most underrated cards during that card's existence throughout standard and everything. Such a such a low mana investment for such a huge payoff. So playing Spinning Axes would make this better, but they're willing to just go to one. They're probably expecting me to use Spinning Axes and then want to respond afterwards and use, you know, like Bounce Bells or whatever, removal. I think that the safe thing is just to let them go to one. Um, so the only card that saves them right now is the one mana, one mana gain three. It's the only card that saves them. Obviously they have it. What's up, Siphonus? Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our new sub. Thank you so much there, Siphonus. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, sub number two on the day. All right, well, they're still alive. This was the line that punished me the the most for waiting was them having with six mana having karma plus gain three. That was by waiting I mean by not using a spinning axe. That's that's what I'm saying. But hopefully we're still good. You know, if they kill this thing, it does two to them. Um Many past lives missing <clears throat> So other times I would other times I would, um, you know, wait and not cast that right away and, like, go to attacks and make them spend their mana and wait to try to try to do this. But they were likely just going to save that four mana. It, with having, like, the, the spell mana um, part of the game, it's not like that mana is wasted because they would, they would be able to hold that to the next turn. And... I thought it was good to just use it then and not and give them less time to draw something else. All right, final boss time. Draven as aggro. <laughs> I wish we had more axes. Let's go, final boss. Yeah, you might as well call me Butter, because I'm on a roll. All right, we got Ezreal plus Karma. It's the 
definitely a really popular deck. Hopefully they mulligan poorly. Maybe I need to keep this transfusion. Keep transfusion. No. <laughs> Plot twist, they, they're also playing Karma Ezreal for bait. Go rookie. They hope they just kept like a bunch of denies, you know, thinking this was like going to be a control matchup, and they just kept a bunch of denies and, um, you know, uh, and like the eight mana draw threes, thinking that it was going to be real slow. Yeah, it's 5 0 Friday. Duh. No, it's 5 0 Friday today. What's the better two drop to play? House Spider or Boom Crew Rookie? I, will play my part. I think the Rook. Real question is whether or not I play House Spider pre-combat. I play House Spider. They're only like like they're mostly going to be using spells anyway, so I think it's worth it. Like if they play, if they play the four three, um, like is it worth it playing this pre-combat where they could play a four three? Four three would like block the one four, and I have to transfusion. I think it's still fine. I think it's worth getting more attacks in. Alright, so there's the 4 3. So puts him down to 9. I could go super aggro, put him down to seven, then five, and that kind of stuff. But I think it's better to play a little bit for the late game. All right, this thing's going to die anyway. So we'll do one damage to it. Pump this up here. Kill the 4-3. Time to go. I think it's better to save Boom Crew Rookie than try to do two damage to them. This turn, keep, another, keep Rook in play. And kill their 4-3. They're looking at their all their cards and they're like, How is this person playing aggro? They're playing Draven Ez. I thought we were playing something completely different. All right, well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That can kill my Boom Crew rookie. Stop bragging if you could back it up. So I don't have the room for both of these. Where's 
So I think I'm just going to get the one Caustic Cask, because I want to play this this turn. Because I don't want to, like, play it and get both of them, and then I can't play my 3-2. I want to play the, this 3-2 also. I think that's worth one damage. Alright, this is the turn. Hoping this is the turn that they're dead. Then we get a 5-0. Oh no, jury rig. I don't like that. Burst burst speed blocker. You're between me and Glo Broken. Well, doesn't look like we're gonna be killing them. At least we take out the Ezreal. No, that was that was a real good turn for them. Sure, if I'm supposed to just cast this right now. Ugh, I thought about that card. I thought about like how if we played Saboteur, we wouldn't have a card for it to get excited. Thought about that. Oh, they're gonna have. They have a lot of mana, you know, like, they have eight mana this turn, next turn they'll have another eight mana. They have a lot of mana before, like, I can really kill them, so. You know, we'll see, like, they, they can really catch up here. I can't, I can't really kill them right now. I wish I didn't play this Legion Saboteur if I knew, if I knew I was going to top deck get excited. That would have been great to, to keep in hand. Maybe I just shouldn't have played it anyway, because I would still be able to play it, like, the next turn. Um... Wow. Wow. I just didn't play that get excited. But yeah, they've They've had exactly what they needed. Okay, ready. Or if I just didn't play that card and then would have had that other card to discard for get excited. All right, they tapped out. And that's a 5-0. Another 5-0 on 5-0 Friday. We still got just enough damage in early, but they weren't ready for it. They weren't prepared, and we got enough damage in. And aggroed them out, and then boom, had the burn spells. GG's. All right, so there we go. That's Draven as aggro or Draven easy aggro. This is the easy aggro deck. If you want to play on easy mode, because your opponents will think you're control, but then you're def you're actually aggro. Putting in the augmented experimenters were clutch. You know, I think that's that's a, a real you know important thing that um, that we didn't have last time whenever we played this deck. You know, bumping this up to being a three of this is a really important card for whenever you run out of gas because you do run out of gas there's too much good removal 
and uh, cheap blockers and the life gain. Like you definitely run out of gas. You, you need like all of these um, to draw, especially since you know we don't have the power of another champion like Jinx to go along with the Draven to get our extra cards. But of course, if you play Draven Jinx, then your opponent knows that you're aggro and they keep all their anti-aggro stuff and then it makes your life really hard. So this, maybe they don't keep their anti-aggro stuff, they mulligan it away and then you surprise them and you get them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is, yeah, this is like YouTube clickbait title in a deck, right? Like, you know, like they see, they see Draven Ezreal and they're like, Ooh, control deck. And it's like, boom, nope, aggro. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, rum we don't really need rummage. Yeah, rummage would only be good if if we have Draven spinning axes, but even then, like, no, this isn't really a rummage deck. Um Alright, so there we go. Draven easy aggro. Alright, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this um of this game plan of fooling the opponents and making them think that we're one deck when we're actually another. Uh, let me know what you think of that that game plan. But thank you so much for watching some Draven Easy Aggro, and I will see you for the next video.